You're watching Tick Tech Know, technology integration coach tech tips to know. Hello and welcome to Tick Tech Know. Today we're going to take a look at uh, a tool called Quizlet. Uh, with this being review season, getting ready for all the big testing at the end of the year, we're going to take a look at a different tool every time we have a video thing for, for the next few uh, in the series. And this one is going to be Quizlet. Now, Quizlet is one that I learned about when I needed to make some digital flashcards for my son to be able to practice doing things, but it's branched out and it does a little bit more than it once did. One great thing for teachers is that when we sign up, we can sign up using our Google account. Uh, so that it's one less password to remember because we can just sign up and log in with our CMCSS Google account and we're good to go. All right. Uh, it says upgrade to teacher, but I'm fine the way I am right now. So one thing you can do is you can uh, create a class to invite your kids to. Another is you can just make a study set and then share that out uh, with links. And to make a study set, super easy. And I, I, they've gotten a lot better at this. Uh, let me create a study set. Going to give it a name. Really lame name, sorry about that. So all I really have to do is type the term on the left-hand side, and I can type the definition if I have a specific thing I want to use, or I really like that they give me this, the ability to look up the definition. There we go. I didn't have to type that. I just clicked here and the auto dictionary pulled up and I got to see all the options and choose the ones I like. And now notice the cursor lets me change this. I can also add an image. And let's see what we got. Uh, let's go with let's go with this. Now the adding your voice recording to both the term and the definition are part of their paid subscription. So if that's important to you, then you can uh, pay the extra money to make that happen. If that's not, then no biggie. All right, again, continue adding cards until I'm done with my set and then hit create. And that now will be stored. Oh, look, I can add to the class where I've made it. I can get a link to that and put that someplace else. Like if I have a Google Classroom, um, Close that for now. Go back to Quizlet. And now I have my study sets that are here with only two terms. Can make folders and classes, or I can search some of the people's study sets because they do publicize them. So I haven't got to go from nothing. Uh, I'm going to go with something I don't know a lot about and look at how awesome they have these fine vocabulary sets that are great for review time especially if you're anything that has lots and lots of vocabulary. Uh, here is AP Calculus, and there are lots and lots of them in here. I'm going to choose one that has more than 10 for a reason. Uh, you can choose any one of these you'd like. You can click on it in preview, but I'm going to choose this one here because I know it has more than 10, and I need there to be at least 12 to be able to see this special set of things I want to share with you. So, again, these are ones I can apps I can use to study these words. Great for your students to be able to go and, and click on that set and, and practice with digital flashcards, and they really are super simple. Uh, here's this one here. A if function I click, which gives the slope of a curve, that is, the slope of the long tangent to a function. If I click on the words, it's going to give me that. If I click anywhere in the white space, it's going to flip it over to see the word, and then I can, of course, click on the arrow to go to the next one. Pretty straightforward. It's digital flashcards. Learn gives me the ability to learn it. Here's the definition, and I have to type the word, that term, that names that I hit answer, and it's going to check me. That's me help learn them. Uh, spell is, again, once more like a spelling test. You give you, or they Tangent. say a word, and you have to type the word and spell it out. And then test gives you this pre-made test that it takes your words and puts them into. Uh, here's written questions. that It made, it, it made all this. Uh, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, and then check answer. When I 
did this last time, it gave me a different set of questions. So it took the same words and made different styles of questions uh, randomly on its own, which is kind of nice. You want to print the test. All right, so that's the learn part or study part. Now for the play. So <clears throat> I can do match. And match allows me to take the word and drag it over the top of the, de the definition. If it matches, then it, they disappear. Uh, let me go back because I can do that one. There is gravity, which is kind of a video game-esque thing where they have to set their de level of difficulty. And they have to uh, type the name, type the, uh, the answer before the asteroid collides with their planet. So there's this, here comes the asteroid and it says tangent. So I would type the definition for tangent, hit submit, and then it would blow this up so it wouldn't hit my planet. The last one is called live. And for some reason, I thought I'd pick one that had 12, more than 12, but we'll go back, search. Let's go with uh, U.S. Constitution. Again, anything you put pairs of, whether it's a 68 terms, that one should have a lot of stuff. All right, 68 terms, and here is live. So what live does, live works with your class, and it's a game. So that's the fun part of that's how you can make this be more entertaining when you're just reviewing terms. Uh, you can click on live, and for me, it says, Here's my set of words create game. And this guy will walk over, walk through how to do this create game, and it's going to give me a code. I share this code with the kids in my class. The kids in my class have to go to uh, quizlet.live. So here. And they sign in. Three, three, two, four. Once they're signed in, they're waiting for their teacher to start them. And sorry, you're making me I'm gonna, you're have to watch this, but I don't have a whole class in front of me right now. And you have to have at least six people to play, and it'll make more sense here in a second. Uh, Firefox. Nothing more exciting than watching someone type things on here, especially when that's not what you're here watching them do. Almost there. Everybody's in finally, and now I'm ready to go back as a teacher. I can see all the students, and if someone put an inappropriate name, I can click on there and remove them. Uh, I just wanted to kind of keep track of what browser window I am in, so I named them that. Click on that, and now it's going to randomly put them on teams. If I don't like the team, I can shuffle it. Start game, and now they're going to see they have the question and then they have answer choices and one of your three people on your team has the correct one and you've got to work together to figure out who has the right one so you can answer it. If you don't get it right, uh, then you don't progress across. 
That is Quizlet Live, buried inside of part of Quizlet. Hope that helps.